students welcome to Shorsa's classes in this video I will be solving questions on utility functions and economics on small papers and mathematical economics so what they have to say they have given here if the utility function of an individual takes the form u equal to u of a q1 q2 is this where is the total utility then find the marginal utility function of each of the two commodities okay so here if you proceed like this now marginal utility is nothing but derivative of the formation now here there are two parts so del u del q1 which is well marginal utility for product one and del u del q2 which is marginal utility of product number two so here if you have any queries regarding the marginal utility calculation or marginal or partial derivative you can ask for me for the videos i will send it to you so del u del q1 is 2 into q1 plus 2 q2 plus 3 whole q this will be unchanged and del u del q2 here the first part will be unchanged and the second part 3 coming down q2 plus 3 whole square and this part is 1 so this is the mu1 segment and this is the mu2 segment so the marginal utility of the function of the two commodities are this and this now the second question they have asked here find the marginal utilities of the first commodity when three units of each commodities are consumed marginal utility of the first so here we can get back to the old one so the marginal utility we have this and the first unit of both the units are consumed by three units so this can be recalculated in this way 2 3 plus 2 3 plus 3 whole q so 2 into 5 into 6 q so the answer of the marginal utility value is 2160 now let's get back go to the next question there's a problem here and this question we have a direct profit function over here and which is given like this we're going to find the second order condition maximum value of the profit everything so first we have to do here remember that for two variable cases the maximum minimum is different so it's like pi 1 1 you have to find pi 1 2 pi 2 2 and pi that's it because pi 1 2 and pi 2 1 are same and here we need to put them as well so first is del pi del x so this is the first order derivative 6x minus 2y del pi del y if we do this is minus 2x minus 4y plus 120 d2 pi dx2 if we do this is minus 6 only d2 pi dy2 you will do this is minus 4 and d2 pi dx dy if we do in the both cases uh, we will be getting it as minus 2 now the rule is pi 1 1 into pi 1 2 minus pi 1 2 square okay this value we first need to calculate pi 1 1 is minus 6 minus 4 minus or minus which is plus 2 so this is actually a positive number so there is the first condition is satisfied now coming to the second condition over here uh, second order has also been checked 
Now we have to find the maximum value of the profit. So for that, these two things, okay. And whether it's maximum or minimum, pi 1, 1 is a negative, hence max. And if pi 1, 1 is positive, that would have given you minimum value. So maximum is also being checked by second order condition. All we have to solve the values now. So 6, 6, just by these, this is the first order condition. We can solve them. 6x plus 2x, we can just take two common, so 3x minus y, or rather say 3x plus y equal to 80, and x plus 2y equal to 60. All you need to do is the next part is to solve x and y and put this into this main equation in order to find the maximum value of profit. I hope you can do till this part. Okay, so now I'm proceeding to the next question. So here a firm sells two products x and y which are the demand functions and the combined cost function is this. Now what they have asked over here. Obtain the total revenue functions in terms of outputs. Okay. So they want us to find the total revenue functions. Okay. So remember that this is Px, this is Py. Revenue function will be required a product of Px into x but in terms of q. So x equal to 25 minus Px by 2. So 2x equal to 50 minus px so px is 50 minus 2x so that's the first part so the revenue function is tr of x is 50x minus 2x square as the first revenue function in the same way uh, py will be directly 30 minus or y py into y is 30y minus y square so that's it. These are, these are the two uh, different parts of the total revenue functions. Now, combined cost function is also given. So, we need to check what happens next. Derive the profit function. Okay. So, profit function here is pi, that is TR1 plus TR2 minus TC okay so coming back to the old equation again so TR1 plus TR2 minus TC so the profit function I can directly write as 50x minus 2x square plus 30y minus y square minus x square minus 2xy minus y square minus 20 so which is 50x minus 3x square minus 2y square plus 30y minus 2xy minus 20. Okay. So this is our profit function as well. Find the optimum output on xy where maximum profit we can get. So getting back to the old equation. So here is the part, so pi equal to the entire function. So what is the value over here, same way. So we need to find d pi by dx 50 minus 6x minus 2y and d pi dy minus 4y plus 30 minus 2x so these are the two we need to equate them with 0 and uh, need to solve them as well second order condition you can also check as I have told you so here we have 6x plus 2y equal to 50 and uh, 2x plus 4y equal to 30 
So all you have to do is to solve these two equations, find the value of x and y and that you have to put into the profit function that is here which will give you the maximum value of the profit. I have already told the maximum minimization per structure in the beginning of the question for the last problem solved. So just by that way you can cross check the second order condition which is pi 1 1, pi 1 2, pi 2 1 and pi 2 2. This has to be positive and the first order part has to be negative. Okay. So that's all for this video. In the next video, I will solve some more questions. Thank you.